Hi, this is Thresden, and this is part three of an Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood Collections walkthrough. When we last left off, uh, we had met one of the counselors down here. Actually, we didn't meet the counselor. We met a person who was looking for the counselor down here in this cave. And uh, we've got to try to find her. Let me go back to the quest journal. Um, it says a deadly secret. Captain Rian Lior, commander of Leowen's Ivory Brigade, needs help investigating the disappearance of a city counselor. The counselor's aide said she last saw Jiric heading back to Leowen by way of the city's eastern gate. I should see if I can find any sign of the counselor between here and the gate. All right, so we're still going to try to find Counselor Jiric. Um, Counselor Jiric should be close by. Maybe in this quest area right here. Oh, this is Captain Voldar's treasure. Okay, so let's try to find Captain Voldar's treasure. It says... Let's see if I can find it. Quest items. Here we go. Pirate's treasure map. Uh, I'm sure I read all this in the previous episode. Cross the harbor from Leo and lies a waterfall. Follow the water to its source. Progress 90 paces southward from this spring. Okay, so here's the source of the waterfall. Wait, follow the waterfall to its source? Let's see. Follow the water to its source. Well, the water would be the waterfall itself. So now we want to go south 90 paces. I'm not sure how far is 90 paces. Maybe over here somewhere. An old fortress I once had the honor to raise to its foundations waits for you. Dig by the base of the tree that stands in the northeasternmost corner. Okay, so we need to go to the northeasternmost corner, which is right here. But uh, this is probably inside of it. Yeah, and it's a minotaur area. Do we have any loot over here? It's a cooking fire. All right, well, let's see if we can cook something. It's the first time we've come across any kind of crafting table since we started playing. Select cook or brew, then choose the item or items you wish to prepare. Press R to craft the item. You can only craft food or drink if you learn the associated recipe and have the proper ingredients for the item. Um, I don't have any recipes except for nut brown ale. Well, I got some drinks. Um, okay, so this is coming out of my craft bags, which is using a lot of the materials I got on other characters. So I'll make one of these. So I got one nut brown ale, one Akai tonic infusion, one ginkgo tonic. Um, just to show you how that works. What does this stuff do? Ginkgo tonic gives me stamina recovery. A Kai tonic infusion also gives me stamina recovery. And then nut brown ale gives me health recovery. That's really what I would want. Got a Leowin chair blueprint. These health rings that we never put on. Switch to jewelry here. Left ring of the broken soul and right ring of the broken soul. This will give us 1,314 maximum health. Um, we've also got an heirloom necklace. Do we want to use this pewter necklace of reduced feet cost? I don't think so. Okay, now, let's keep looking for the uh, treasure. It's probably inside of this fort. If 
I can find a way inside. Got to be an entrance here somewhere. Okay. Here we go. Dead Minotaurs. Said northeastern corner, so it'll be over here. There's a Minotaur in our way. Or some kind of. I don't know what that is. Goblin or something? Here it is. Ill-gotten gold waits beneath the pile of loose dirt. And we got Captain Voldar's Hammer, a piece of the Frostbite set, which is a Magicka DPS set. Um, we're not going to use that, but we can deconstruct it later and get some materials out of it. Mage's Fury can now be morphed. Do we have any skill points? We have no skill points. Okay, so we've now leveled Mage's Fury all the way up to the fourth level. So we can morph it to something better, but we need a skill point to do it. What is this? We now got woodworking and provisioning. So we can make food and drink and um, wooden items like staves and bows. Here's an alien well. Uh, if you played previous expansions, these are kind of like the giant camps or the um, ritual totem areas in Greymoor or Markarth. They're just kind of scattered around. And if you click on it, it gives you some experience points and it counts towards map completion. I'm going to go grab this way shrine. And then we'll see if we can find the counselor. She looks like we need to go right outside the city. So let's go here. Take a swim. If you're wondering about this map in the upper right hand corner of the screen, this is an add on. It's called, uh, let's see, Votan's mini map. It's just a basic mini map. Makes it easier to navigate. Someone, anyone, help me! Uh oh. That doesn't sound good. Counselor Jerick! I refused to believe, but Farrell, Leviticus, they were right. What happened to you, Counselor? I was attacked. An assassin. You, you must warn the others. The counselors. Leofic's secret. It, it will be the death of us all. Counselor Jerick! Counselor Jerick! Damn, we're too late! There's a mysterious note lying beside her. Oh, and it's the Dark Brotherhood again. Damn it. I'm too late. Poor Counselor Jerick. She didn't deserve to die like that. At least I don't think she did. Did you see what happened? Who attacked her? I didn't see who attacked her, but there's a note beside her body. The mark of the Dark Brotherhood. Just like with Faro Lupus. Uh, sorry. I'm working for Counselor Leviticus, the head of the Chamber of Legates. I came to Leowin to warn him after I stumbled across some secret concerning the Longhouse Emperors. I'm working for Captain Rianne Lior. He sent me to find the Counselor. What's that about a secret? It relates to something called the Four Ambitions of Mayrun's Dagon. I think they're Daedric weapons, but I'm still puzzling that out. I was working for Faro Lupus before he was murdered. 
found a strange tome with Daedric markings at his behest. I found a letter to Counselor Jeric from Faro Lupus. It warned she was in danger. Yeah, that's what brought me here. I found a list of names. Faro Lupus and members of the Elder Council. It said they all knew something about this secret. Since Faro was murdered, I figured the others were in danger too. Looks like I was right. Who were the other counselors? Let me have your map. I'll mark where counselors Valeria and Sophus were last seen. Go warn them. Convince them to take precautions. Then meet me at Counselor Jirik's manor in the city. Maybe we can find something to shed more light on this secret. I'll go warn the counselors, then meet you at Jirik's manor. I'll get the city guards to come and gather the counselor's body. She shouldn't just be left out here. Then I'll head to Counselor Jirik's manor. When you're done checking on Counselor Falaria and Counselor Sophus, meet me there. Walk me through what you know so far about this threat against the counselors. Like I said, it all started when I found that strange tome for Faro Lupus, an Emperor Leovic's journal. It was in code, but I got it translated. Sent me to a few hidden Imperial caches where I learned that the Longhouse Emperors had a secret. Right, the secret concerning the four ambitions of Mehrun's Dagon. Right, but it turned out I wasn't the only one trying to learn more about the ambitions. A group of cracked acorns called the Order of the Waking Flame. Fanatic Mehrun's Dagon cultists. Had to put arrows in more than one of those bastards. So why is the Dark Brotherhood murdering the counselors? I guess someone hired them to eliminate everyone who knows about the secret. The question is, who? And I was told by a more or less friendly Dramora named Lirinth that the fate of our world was at stake. So of course I want to figure this all out. Tell me more about the strange book you found. So Faro Lupus hired me to retrieve a book from a retreat once used by the Longhouse Emperors. He never told me what it was, and he died before I could ask. The book is... weird. It has weird pages and weird markings, and I can't read a word of it. You never learned anything else about it? Not much. Faro's partner said he planned to use it to make things right, but she didn't know how. And it's Daedric, I think. I will say, carrying it... It's kind of a burden. And I've been having strange dreams. But I don't want to talk about that. Okay. So she's really summarizing a lot of the stuff that happened in the prologue, the Blackwood prologue. Um, if you just started playing and started a new character, you wouldn't know about all that, but she's just catching you up on it. Okay, now we need to go find... We've got all of the counselors on our map now. So we've got Counselor Falaria there and Counselor Sophus. So let's go talk to Counselor Sophus first. Looks like he or she is closer. I keep trying to mount up, but uh, I don't use mounts below level 10 in these walkthroughs. It's just habit. <laughs> Looks like Counselor Sophus is right next to this delve up here that we did in the previous episode. There's a house back here. We weren't expecting visitors. Are you here to see the counselor? Lunia Sophus. Are you here to speak with Counselor Sophus? I'm afraid my husband has taken our dog for a walk. Is there something I could help you with, perhaps? I need to find the counselor. He may be in danger. Danger? What are you talking about? Does this have something to do with that letter? And... Who are you, by the way? Captain Rianne sent me to check on Counselor Sophus. Captain Rianne? I see. Well, if the Ivory Brigade sent you, my husband likes to walk our dog Chero along the tree line. Go on and find him. I'll wait here in case he returns. You mentioned a letter? My husband, Valen, received a letter from an old friend this morning. Faro Lupus, Emperor Leovic's steward. 
I could see that whatever was in that letter upset him, but he didn't want to discuss it, and I didn't push him. Now, please, go find him. All right, I'll go find him. Uh, wait, can I have that water skin? Thanks. Maybe he's on the other side of this rock? Yeah, and he's dead. The Dark Brotherhood again. What's taking you so long? They should... Valen! No! late. He was already dead when I found him. You know, Valen acted strange after the letter from Farrell Lupus arrived. He didn't tell me what it said, and I never asked. Before he left today, he gave me a sealed scroll, said to give it to Counselor Leviticus if anything ever happened to him. A scroll? A scroll, sealed and bearing my husband's stamp. Take it. Give it to Counselor Leviticus. I hope it helps catch whoever murdered my husband. I'll summon the town guard. They'll help me with... with my husband. Sorry for your loss. Letter to Counselor Leviticus. Sophus' sealed scroll. Okay, I can't read it because it's sealed. She's still over there crying. Yeah, very sad. All right, let's see if we can quickly get to where this other counselor is. Try to avoid these. Monsters, whatever these things are. Bog Dog Bone Crusher. Oh, and my pet's gonna attack it, huh? Here's the stables. Hopefully the counselor doesn't die because we're doing this, but let's see if we can talk to the stable person. You know, the crest of Leowin is a rampant steed. Puts a lot of pressure on a stable master like me. But I think I'm doing all right. Uh, you know what? I don't have a mount yet, or I wouldn't have a mount. Okay. At level 10, we'll start, uh, we'll get a mount. We'll start upgrading our mount and uh, trying to make it faster. What? All right, I wish I had that way shrine in there. It would have been faster. We're walking all the way around here. Getting really low on stamina with all this running. Aloysius's note. Some dead guy. To whomever finds me, deliver this letter and the ring in my bag to Tertia Falto in Leowin. Dearest Tertia, go ahead and pet it. It's just a harmless mongrel, you said. Little did I know how wrong we both were. The sorry-looking mutt was an omen, my sweet, and the harbinger of my demise. 
I can still picture that perfect night in Leoin, your face, radiant, resplendent, shining in the sun as we walked among the streets. I wish, desperately wish, I could see it one more time. I wish, I wish I'd given you the ring in my pocket and proposed to you as I planned. I wish I hadn't instead reached down and tried to pet the damn dog. It bit me, of course, but that superficial wound was just the start. Naturally, I can't propose to you with blood gushing from my hand. So I bit my tongue, held my peace, and excused myself to the nearest healer. There, a kind Argonian bandaged my wound and provided a medicinal toad for the pain. Sadly, it would prove to be meager balm for the true injury. As the sun set, I was racked by wild, fever dreams. The last thing I recall was tearing off my clothing and running, howling into the night. I woke up in someone's chicken coop covered in blood and feathers. Please understand, I do this for you. Were I to see you again while under this curse, I might cause you harm. I couldn't live with myself if that happened, so I won't. I leave you the ring I never gave you. It was meant for you and no one else. Always yours, Aloysius Fulvianus. Aloysius's ring, a modest engagement ring. It was Aloysius's wish to, that his betrothed, Tertia, would have it. All right, we'll I have to deliver the ring to her and tell her the bad news. Eulogy for Emperor Varen. It's probably a fun book to read. Stay alert. I have it on good authority that I'm in danger. Of course, Counselor. She's alive! Step back and state your business. I have every reason to believe that my life is in danger. If you so much as make a threatening gesture, the Brigadine will dismember you. He has very strict orders on that regard. I'm working for Captain Rianne Lior. I was sent to tell you the threat is real. I was beginning to suspect as much. Very well. Tell me everything that you have learned. Leave nothing out. I want to hear it all. The Dark Brotherhood has already murdered Pharaoh Lupus and Counselor Jirik. Lupus? Emperor Leovic's old steward? And Jirik as well? Gods. They are targeting the Elder Council. Anything else? Tell me. The slightest detail could mean the difference between life and death. They killed Counselor Sophus, too. Uh, for some reason, the dialogue doesn't say that, but we should probably tell her that, too. We think it has something to do with Leovic's secret, something called the Four Ambitions. The Ambitions? I heard that term once before, years ago. I must go to Tidewater Cave. I have a cache hidden there, and I need to check my records. Meanwhile, I suggest you find Jirik's files. She kept them in a hidden compartment in her nightstand. Your records include information on Leovic's secret? Possibly. I oversaw the Imperial Treasury, so my records deal with expenditures and collections. I have documents going as far back as Emperor Morikar. Possibly even Durkarach. And I know I saw that term someplace. I will see what I can find. How well did you know Counselor Jirik? Extremely well. We were rivals as well as colleagues on the Elder Council. It was that way between all of the Counselors, I suppose. Her death is a tragedy, however. I will miss her. Watch yourself, stranger. I'm part of Counselor Falaria's personal guard. I will not hesitate to cut you down if you threaten her. Calm down, man. I'm on your side. All right, let's see if we can find... Uh, you know what? Let's switch the... Um, we need to go to Counselor Jarek's Manor. I had it on the wrong quest. If we happen to find that guy's fiance, we'll also... Well, she was going to be his fiance, but we'll also give her the ring on the way. But that's only if we happen to run across her before we get to Counselor Jirik's Manor. All 
All right, since we're in town, we can start to uh, explore Leowin now. There will be lots of stuff to do in the city. Like here is Kirinor, the... the uh, a fascinating application of the technique. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? Yeah, this guy's a recruiter for the Mage's Guild. The Mage's Guild? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Let's talk about the Mage's Guild. Always good to speak with another knowledge seeker. Guildmaster Vanus will be pleased. What can you tell me about the Mage's Guild? We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. What do I get in return? We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. Um, okay, so I'm not going to go through all these other options. I did this in other walkthroughs. In every walkthrough I've done, I've uh, gone through this. So I'm just going to say I'm ready to join the Mages Guild. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the guild. All right, we've got the Mages Guild skill line. One of the best things about having this skill line is you can get this perk right here, Persuasive Will. It allows you to persuade NPCs to help you. Sometimes you can skip steps in a quest by using that. So as soon as we get a skill point, we'll get that. Over here, Initiate. Greetings. I have a message for you from Velast, Mistress of Incunabula. A message for me? Indeed. She has a task for you. You'll want to speak with her as soon as you can. Where can I find her? Velast awaits you at the Guild Hall in Volkelgard, along the southern coast of Auradon. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. What can I tell you? Who is Velast again? The mistress of Incunabula for the guild, the keeper of tomes. She's the guild's most accomplished lore master, second only really to guild master Vanus himself. Do you know what she wants? I don't, but she usually tries to offer new guildmates a chance to prove themselves. As you might imagine, she's keenly interested in acquiring new books for the lore library. Maybe she's got a lead on a trove of tomes? Okay, so I, I think this is the first chapter where they've sent you on the Mages Guild quest line from the chapter. Normally, it's only the Fighters Guild that you can pick up. You have to go to the core areas to get the Mages Guild, but they fixed that in this chapter. So if we look on the map, it should show us that we need to go to the docks, maybe? Let's see. Long Lost Lore, show on map. Okay, so we need to go to Volkelgard in Auradon, because this character is uh, an Aldmeri Dominion character. So you can follow that quest line. It'll take you into the core game and let you do the Mages Guild quest line, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep going through Blackwood. And... It's a letter sitting here. Which guild is for you? Calling all adventurers, sellswords, spellslingers, and scoundrels. Do you find yourself in need of adventuring companions? Do you long for the kind of camaraderie that daring exploits make possible? Perhaps it's time you joined a guild to explore the current listing. Speak to Guild Herald Amsad. All right, Guild Herald Amsad. Here, let's get this away shrine. Maybe this is Guild Herald Amsad? No, this is Isisar. Next time I'm in the field, I think I'll bring a grip. Welcome to our hall. Are you familiar with the guild? The guild? The Fighters Guild. You should consider joining up. We have a new guildmaster and a new singular purpose. Why don't we talk for a moment? Sounds good. Let's talk about the Fighters Guild. Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now. What can I tell you? You mentioned a singular purpose? Right. 
Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the Daedra and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Nope, not seen it. Hard fights. What do I get in return? Ha! Yeah, it's a good question. We train our members in special techniques, and the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. I'm ready to join the Fighters Guild. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the Fighters Guild. Get out there and take the fight to the Daedra. All right, same kind of thing. Fighters Guild, you can get intimidating presence, lets you intimidate NPCs and skip quest texts, skip uh, quest, quest steps. Um, some of the quests, you have to have persuasive will. Other ones, you have to have intimidating presence. Just depends on the quest. Have you seen the note? If you seek companions for your adventuring, look no further. This one can help with that. Tell me more about the guild listings. Ah, of course. These listings are where other adventurers, much like yourself, can declare their interests. Those of a similar proclivity can join up together and form guilds. Take a look. This one is sure a group suited to your needs awaits you. Okay, so here's the guild listings. These are player guilds, not NPC guilds. And then it just shows you, you can browse through all the different guilds. Um, some of them focus on role playing, some of them focus on group PvE. And then you can go through and apply, like say you want to join Free Tigers. You can click uh, R. I don't know why it won't let me apply. Oh, because I'm already I've already got the max number of guilds. But if you were a new player, you could hit R, apply to guild, fill out the application, say, hey, I want to be in your guild. And um, most guilds will take you. Um, usually guilds are recruiting, so they're not hard to get into, but that's all you have to do. Have you had the chance to review the guild listings, friend? I looked through them. Wonderful! This one hopes you found something that interests you. Too often, this harsh world becomes isolating. Finding companions can make it bearable, hmm? Here, a little something for your time. This one is quite pleased you stopped by, and hopes that you find a guild that appeals to you. Amsad wishes you many friendships and adventures in your future. Can you tell me anything more about these listings? The listings are a place for like-minded adventurers to come together. The world is quite vast, no? Many times it is difficult to find those with similar interests to your own. With this register, you need look no further. Okay. You can also access that guild listing by hitting, um, let's see, G. Or just hit any key, it'll bring up this menu, and you just click on this right here, and it brings it up. So you don't have to go to that board. But it's cool that they've got NPCs that tell you where to go. Here's the crafting area. Um, so let's go ahead and take all this loot we've gotten. Let me make sure we've got the best gear on first. Let's see. Um, should we use these boots maybe? Got all heavy armor. We could have one piece of medium. Um, so yeah, let's let's use these boots. We could also use one light. Um, this is significantly less armor, and it's not that good, really. So I'm not going to wear it. Here's a level five iron girdle instead of a level one. See if there's anything else. I would like to put some light armor on. Um, yeah, it looks like that's all I'm gonna put on for now. So here's the crafting table. You can refine materials right here. I've got some rough ruby ash that's not been refined. Um, and then you can deconstruct items and get materials from them. And it levels your woodworking skill. 
or whatever um, whatever crafting table you're using. So now we got woodworking up to two. Do the same thing with blacksmithing. Later on, we'll get certified in these crafts so that we can Let's see. Do I need to change my weapon? Is this one-handed? Oh, that hammer is one-handed. So, yeah, let's go ahead and actually use this. Yeah, the Minotaur's meat cleaver is two-handed. We don't want to do that. Um, what about a shield? Okay, we don't have any new shields. Okay, so let's go ahead and deconstruct the rest of this stuff. And we can get materials from it that we can use to make gear later on. Or we could sell the materials. So we got a honing stone, iron ingot, manganese. The only one left is... Well, we've got two left. We've got clothing. After that, jewelry crafting. So we've got all this loot that we got from various places. We can deconstruct it, got some rawhide. And some of these materials probably came from another character I was playing, but that's all right. This stuff we got on this character. And, oh, we got no materials from that. That's a shame. This will become more important once we get certified in crafting. We can do crafting writs and gain levels more quickly that way. There's an urgent way. task for you. Well met, comrade. I have an urgent message from the Guildmaster. What's the message? Report to me at once. I have a task for you. She's a lizard of few words. Where can I find her? She's running things out of the guild hall in Volkelgard at the moment. The eight guide you, comrade. Did she say what she wanted? No, but I have an idea. Word in the hall is that there's a big contract. A huge contract. All hands on deck. She probably wants you in the fight. All right. Just like the Mage's Guild, that's the Fighter's Guild quest line. If you follow that, it takes you into the core game areas, the, the faction areas. Um, but let's continue and see if we can find, either find this guy's um, future fiance, or find the, um, what else have we got? Counselor Jurek's Manor, see if we can find some clues as to what's going on, why the Dark Brotherhood is hunting all these people. What does this have to do with the Four Ambitions? What does this have to do with Mehrun's Dagon? Just pet the dog. It's harmless. Oh, Tertia, you idiot. No wonder he hasn't... Is there something you want? I'd like to be left alone right now. I found this letter on a body in the wilderness. They said to deliver this letter and ring to you. Body? Ring? Oh, Riemann on high, what's this about? Elosius wrote this? And he's dead? This makes no sense. Howling? Chicken coops? It, it was just a mangy mutt. I don't even think it was rabid, let alone... Oh no, Elosius. You poor fool. What is it? He wasn't cursed. He was hallucinating. The toad that Argonian used to ease his pain must have been too strong for him. Elosius convinced himself he was a werewolf, and he... He... This is the second worst proposal I've ever had. The second worst? I was once kidnapped by a crazed Sulzon warlord and offered the heads of my neighbors as a dowry. <laughs> I'd rather not talk about it. I've had more than a dozen failed engagements in my life. If anyone here is cursed, it's me. But it's not all bad news. It's not? How's that? Aloysius didn't run off and leave me like half the others. He even gave his life to protect me. I've never had anyone love me that much. <laughs> is it wrong that makes me happy? Take this for delivering my betrothed's last wishes. It was kind of you. 
All right, we got another piece to the Frostbite set. 103 gold. I wonder if the Temple of Mara would marry us posthumously. It was his dying wish, after all. Maybe we should employ a priest of Arte for the ceremony, so he can pass on without regrets? You want to marry your dead suitor? Well, why not? I've had absolutely no luck with the living, and it's what he wanted. I'd rather die a widow than an old maid. I, I can't argue with that. It's not like this is how I dreamed of getting married, but after being jilted so many times, I may as well marry a man who can't change his mind. <laughs> you may not get it, but for your sake, I hope you never have to. All right. We hit level six. We got three soul gems, a crown experience scroll. Put some points into health. And I'm not sure whether we should go ahead and get Intimidating Presence or um, get Capacitor. This will increase Magicka recovery by 5%. You know, I think I'm going to go ahead and get... For now, I'll get Intimidating Presence. We'll still need to get Persuasive Will, but I'm going to get this one first. Allows you to intimidate NPCs in conversation. Reduces the stamina cost of your Fighter's Guild abilities by 15%. You know what, maybe I should morph. Um, no, I won't do it. It's not recommended. I'll go ahead and take this. And I only have one skill point, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so let's see if we can go to Counselor Jirik's Manor, which is right here. We're on our way there. Here's another quest right here. What is this? Housing brochure. Okay. Seeking tenant. Are you an adventurer of good reputation? Have low to moderate homicidal tendencies? Looking for a cozy home to call your own, but too low on funds to afford one? How would you like a free in-room? That's right, completely free, no catch. Just seek out Philande Dimery at your local inn for more information about this exciting ownership opportunity. All right, we'll go find Philande Dimery in a minute. Let's go investigate the manor here. I'm glad you're here. I've been searching all over, but I could use your help. This place is huge. Why do rich people need so many rooms? Oh, but tell me, did you warn the counselors like I asked? Valeria has protection and is going to search her records, but I was too late to save Sophus. Sophus is dead? Damn! Was it the Dark Brotherhood? What am I saying? Of course it was. I've torn this place apart, but so far I haven't found anything related to Imperial secrets or the ambitions. Maybe you can spot something I missed. Counselor Valeria told me Jirik kept records in a hidden compartment in her nightstand. I knew you'd be a help, but I didn't expect you to just have the answer the moment you walked in. Good job! Counselor Jirik's bedroom is upstairs. Let's see if we can find that hidden compartment. All right. Upstairs. Where's the stairway? Who's this? How terribly frustrating. Not only did Counselor Jirik miss our meeting today, she went and got herself killed. Now who will help me with the project we were working on? Oh, it's so very inconsiderate. Oh my god, what a horrible person. It was just as I feared. Counselor Jirik murdered. And so close to the city gates. Where were the city guard or the brigadines when she needed them? Yeah. How terribly... I heard you were with Counselor Jirik when she... when she expired. I hope you find the Cretans that killed her. They deserve whatever punishment you and the Divines can devise. 
All right, we'll do our best. I guess this is the stairway right here. You said there was a hidden compartment under the nightstand? Let's see what it contains. Counselor Jirik, it is time to rally the caretakers and move the ambitions. The new vault location should ensure their safety and keep them hidden until I or the High Priest call for them. The forces loyal to the traitor Varen draw ever closer, and we cannot allow the ambitions to fall into their hands. This is your official order. Act immediately. This line is written in a complex imperial code, Emperor Leovic. A hidden compartment? I love it! I mean, I hate that people have died, but... Um, so, what did you find? It's an order from Emperor Leovic. He told Jirik to move the ambitions, but the last line's in code. Let me see that. Hmm, that's a code, all right. Some of the other documents I found use something similar. You know, I'm really starting to hate all the secrecy surrounding the ambitions. Leowin is an Imperial city. Maybe someone here can decipher it. Good idea. We need to report in to Councillor Leviticus anyway. Let him know what we uncovered. If he has a qualified scribe, great. If not, I know someone. They help me with those other documents. Let's go to Leowin Castle and talk to Leviticus. All right, I'll meet you at Leowin Castle. I can't help feeling that once we solve the secret of the Longhouse Emperors, we'll know how to stop the Dark Brotherhood from murdering any more of the Counselors. I'll see you at the castle. Alright, before we go to the castle, let's find, uh... this person about a, an in-room. That way we can have kind of a base of operations to continue our adventures. Once you have an in room or a house, here's a real nice house right here. Uh, I'll show that later. But once you've got an in room, I need to go this way to the Kalata Zen. You can teleport back to that in room at any time for free. So it's really useful to have. sure whether I should go right or left. I think it's a little bit faster way to get to the front of the building. Here she is. You have a look about you. Some sort of quality that's rare to find. And trust me, I'm never wrong about these sort of things. Can I interest you in a room at the local inn? Actually, wait, that came out wrong. A room at the local inn? Look, empty rooms are just bad for business. The upkeep alone costs me more than the place is worth. But I think we can come to a sort of arrangement. And not the sort of arrangement that involves a few drinks. Let me be clear about that. What sort of arrangement? I need someone to improve the reputation of my properties. A hero type who people look up to. And I have a feeling about you. You've done something great and are probably on the way to do something greater. Seems like we can help each other here. I'm interested. What are the details? Yeah, all right. Details. I can see how this might be a bit sketchy, but don't worry. The in-room is well-kept, conveniently located. I know you adventuring types wanting a home in every town. This would be a nice addition to your holdings. There has to be a catch. What is it? No catch. I just need someone to freshen up my image. And my gut tells me you're the one to do that. As long as you're not planning on turning it into a skooma den or an outlaw's refuge, the room is all yours. So, within legal reason, I can do whatever I want with the place? Oh, sure. 
You can set up some crafting stations, house your pets, display any treasures or trophies you've come upon in your adventures. Hey, you can even set up a target dummy to practice combat. Just don't demolish the place and we're good. All right, I'll accept your offer. Excellent. You won't regret this decision, I swear. Here's the deed and key to the room. Took me a while, but I finally was able to take them back from the last tenant. Required more time in the sewers than I had hoped for, but hey, that's business. <laughs> Hope the room is to your liking. With your reputation, I'm sure you shouldn't have any trouble with the neighbors. If you do, remember death threats are not the way to go. Had a spot of trouble when my last tenant started sending those out. Anything else I should keep in mind? No, nope, just make yourself at home. Spruce things up a bit. Honestly, I can't wait to see how you arrange the place. Hopefully you'll end up with a few less Daedric shrines than another former tenant of mine. Like Zero. Zero's a good number. Of course, I don't even worship Daedra. Oh, what a relief. I can't tell you how hard it is to wash bloodstains off of cobble floors. But that's not even the worst of it. I've had tenants cram their rooms with the wildest things. Mounts, foliage, assistants. I mean, it's an in-room. Okay, I'm not going to read the rest of that. Um, I've gone through all the dialogue on the previous walkthroughs, so I'm just going to skip over a little bit of it. All right, so this is our new in-room. You can teleport back here once you've got this uh, by going into collections and click on housing and then go to Pilgrim's Rest. You can see I've got a lot of in rooms and houses I've collected, but then you just click on travel to house and you can travel inside or outside. If you just want to teleport into the area, then you just click outside. Uh, you can see I've got a storage coffer, an Argonian bed, um, some tapestries on the wall, but normally this would come empty. And after you reach a certain level, you get a bed for free. You can put that bed in your in room. You also get trophies from doing dungeons. There's all kinds of ways you can decorate your house. You can buy bigger houses with gold after you get achievements in the game, or you can buy them with crowns. All right, that's gonna be it for this episode. In the next episode, we will continue to Leowen Castle and uh, see if we can investigate further what's going on with the Dark Brotherhood and all this other stuff. Thanks for watching. See you next time.